two of poppers started. Uh, I won the die roll, and I'm against, uh, who is that? Foil Bob. So let's see what he's playing. Foil Bob. Alright, no decks found for Foil Bob. I won the die roll, I am going to play first. Um, no, I lost the first match. I got, I had to mold a four on game three. Alright, not mulling, not mulling this. This is fine. It's lacking a bit in early pressure, but i got brainstorm, I can hopefully get some early pressure out. <coughs> Alright, he's pondering, so, so I'm going to go ahead and brainstorm. Look for some pressure. Alright, well that's pretty much the pressure that I wanted, so we're going to put, uh, probably just counterspell snap on top. Because I want to be able to flip the Delver. Yeah, Mono Red Burn it is. I like Mono Red Burn, but... It's not the deck for me, because if you fizzle... Or if they counterspell something, you're just screwed. We're going to cast this Cloud of Fairies. I don't know what he's playing yet. So, I'm going to get the Cloud out. I'm probably just going to get the Delver out. I know I have, I have Snap in hand, so if he's Delver Cyclops, then I can snap his Cyclops or whatever. If he's Delver, that sucks, but... No, no plays from him? Okay. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, so Delver flips. And we just ride these dudes to victory, basically. So I think he's Delver. Three Islands leads me to believe he's Delver. Mm -hmm. Yep, another snap. It's good. doing for three mana. Una's Grace, eh? Hmm. Well, that could be a problem. Delver. Um, I'll let Delver go because I have a Piracy Charm. Spire Golem will get counterspelled though. Quite handily. And he's main decking dispel, eh? Wow. Alright. That's fair. So we're gonna snap the Spire Golem. And Bash you for four. Cast a cloud of fairies. Untapping. And pass the turn. Um, yeah, I'm going to let the Delver possibly flip. Miscalculation. Okay, so at least mono blue control actually, I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're counterspelling this, but we know it's going to get uh, miscalculated. <coughs> Sounds like it will snap it. I think I'm going to attack with the Delver, uh, see if he blocks the Spire Golem, if he does I'll Piracy Charm to kill the Spire, the spire Golem. Alright, he does, so Piracy Charm it is. Um, yeah, we'll just pass the turn now. Alright, so we're going to try and snap the Stelver now. It's probably going to get counterspelled, but we're going to try. Yep, okay. Miscalculated. So he's monopoly controlled. Basically just all counter spells all the time. So I have to sit back and wait because he has control. Alright, Delver away. Counter spells it all spells to that. Spells from probably gets counterspelled. Alright. So Mono counter spells beats me. I wasn't expecting main deck dispel. That kind of screws me. Alright, so he's got another blocker coming in. Uh, I'm not going to trade here, though. Oh, wow, he doesn't have another blocker. Okay. So let's attack with these fairies, then. Oh, crap, I only attacked with one fairy. Stupid lag. <coughs> um, I'm gonna get the Spire Golem out. I'm gonna just like hope he doesn't have any counter spells. Okay, he had to think twice. All right, cool. Spire Golem hits. That's good news for me. Is he gonna bounce it back to my hand? Or is he gonna think twice again? Okay, now he just think twice again. Alright, so he has all the card advantage in the world and filtering. Which is super bad news for me. So I really need a ninja off the top, I think. Ah, oh, crap, he has a spire golem. Okay, well, now we're at a stalemate. Yep, it's a stalemate. <sighs> Pass the turn. Yep, he gets more card advantage with double think twices.
Put him plus up your out of stalemate. He can't attack. I can't attack. I got a ninja now. So I can attack with everything and ninja. I think I have to get the ninja out and just sacrifice a cloud of fairies, basically. The, cloud, the fairies aren't doing anything for me anyway, so. I just want to draw a card, essentially. Hopefully he doesn't have a bounce spell for the ninja, that would suck. No, he didn't. Good. Always yes. And always yield. All right, good, I got the Una's Grace. That's awesome, actually, because now I can start getting some card advantage. <laughs> hmm. So this is interesting. I think I'm gonna play this island. I'm gonna attack with the golem and the ninja. Hmm. No, actually, we're just gonna attack with the golem. We'll try and piracy charm to kill his golem. If he has a counter spell, then I don't want to just lose to a counter spell. Lose my ninja to a counter spell. So we'll give my Spire Golem plus two, minus one. Hopefully to beat through his Golem. Okay, we're going to cycle this Cloud of Fairies looking for a counterspell. Alright, I didn't get the counterspell, so... Eh, the deprive happens. And I just lose a... a possibility of killing his Spire Golem. A bluff counterspell, man. I should have played the Delver, actually, but... A bluffing counterspell, man, isn't that bad either. Not that I think he's not going to play anything, but... Hmm. Alright, let's cast in his grace. Delver and pass the turn. Maybe he counterspells Delver. Nope, doesn't. Good. Alright, passing the turn now. What in the hell is he doing for that much mana? Repeal. Hmm. Alright, let's uh, brainstorm. Got a Delver and a Spire Golem off the top. Um, 
All right, we'll put the Spire Golem and the Delver on top. Oh, I guess I could set my own Delver flip on. Ah, well. Take three from his Delver. Then I get to play two Spire Golems next turn. One of them's gonna land. Come on. Why am I so laggy? Not gonna reveal my Delver. Uh, I don't get to play two Spire Golems. I get to play a one Spire Golem. So let's play a Delver. Come on. Alright, let my Delver hit. Um, so I know he has to have a counter spell here. I'm going to go ahead and cast the Spire Golem and try and counter his counter. Counter the Exclude. He has another counter. Oh, fuck. Oh no, he's using his gracing for a counter. Good. So I don't just lose yet. Note that I say yet. And he didn't hit another spell, that's good. The quicksand sucks though. That means my ninja cannot attack. He's <laughs> attacking in present, okay. Basically just cycling the draw card. Ugh, he's got another spire golem. Oh shit. Alright, so Spire Golem off the top. Always yield. No. And no. So let's just cast the Spire Golem. No point in hiding it. Hopefully he doesn't have the counter spell. All right, cool. He didn't. That's good news for me. See, get Oracle is not a problem. Come on. Not revealing an island. So, come on. My lag is going to kill me here. 
Goodness grace. Targeting me. Uh, Goodness grace. Targeting. Uh, wait. I'll wait till my end step. Or wait till his end step, rather. Probably gonna win on the clock here. I think. If I win. So we're gonna F6 and make him go. Because as of right now, he doesn't really have a way to win. And he's losing on the clock. Goodness Grace, targeting me. Ninja doesn't help anything. Come on, Delver. Pretty sure I was always yielding to them. Yes. Alright, so Piracy Charms are good. I get to kill one of his Delvers. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that now. Kill a Delver. I yeah, probably counter spells that. That's fine. I'll repeal. Sure. And then they just hard cast a ninja. And pass the turn. Goodness mm -hmm. grace. Okay, sure. And pass the turn. Yep, am, I am definitely planning on winning on the clock here. So could win on time, or could win on the fact that he's going to deck himself. He does have attacks now with the Piracy Charm, though. He can attack with the Spire Golem. But if he attacks the Spire Golem, he's going to double block uh, the two, two Delvers on his Spire Golem. Nope. Nothing. We'll go ahead and his... Well, we would in his grace if my library would show up. Targeting me. So it's over. We can go home now. 
All right, and we'll pass the turn. Alright, just ponder in hand. I just accidentally clicked it. Okay. Alright, so he's coming out with the Spire Golem once again. Like I said, I'm just going to double block with the Delvers. I know he has the Piracy Charm, and he's going to try and use it. And he is going to use it. Alright, so I traded the Delver for a Spire Golem. That's a fair trade for me. Brainstorm. Uh, Baron fairies are not very good. <sighs> we'll cast him. Uh, no, we're not going to cast him in his grace, actually. We're just going to wait. Leave up exclude. And pass the turn. And yeah, I am going to win on time here. Yep. You can ask Grace. See, it Oracle's fine. I could exclude it, but it doesn't matter. I'd rather just draw a card. Ah, so he's finally making his attacks. Alright, well, Spire Golem's gonna block his Delver. Well, we're gonna block a Delver on his Delver, a Spire Golem on his Delver, and a Spire Golem on his Spire Golem. Block here. So he gets to kill a Spire Golem, maybe two if he has two Piracy Charms. So he has two piracy charms. All right, that's fair. Except he used the piracy charm on the wrong thing. That's awesome. He's commenting that he misclicked, and I agree. <laughs> that was a big misclick, actually. Because he could have actually won a game. And it's Grace. Come on. Targeting me. I already know it's on the top, so it's not that big of a deal. We have a bare enough cloud of fairies on top. 
And we're gonna go ahead and cycle the Cloud of Fairies because I want to have a better draw than a bear. Alright. Oh, there's Gush. That's cool. Gush is like way late to the party, but he's cool. Come on. Alright, so tap this, play the Gush. Probably counterspells the Gush, I imagine. Yep. Which is fine. I have to play an island, and I actually get to Una's Grace away one of the other islands. Let's go ahead and do that if I stop lagging. Discarding this island. And I got another island. That's not bad. Just get to Ernest Grace again. Alright, so he's at 7 minutes. Actually, let's remove auto yields. Alright, so he's attacking the golem and both the delvers. I'm gonna block a delver, I believe. Because if he has a piracy charm, I want to take the least amount of damage. So I just get to eat his Delver. Um, let's go to his Grace now. Targeting me. Come on. Click, click. Discarding this land. Uh, play an island. Cast a Spire Golem for free. Probably gets countered, but whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. Sure, you can deprive it. So I'm six minutes ahead on the clock. Five minutes? Yeah, five and a half. Go on six. Yeah, he probes me, sure. So he knows I have an exclude. Attack game probe, sure. So, a super exciting match going on here, folks. We're winning on time. Uh, 
let's go ahead and cycle the plot of fairies. It's useless. And the more stuff I have to make him say yes to, the better off I am. Uh, well, I can snap here. Let's go ahead and snap, see if that gets through. If I snap the spire golem, then my spire golem can get through. And I can try and exclude it on the way back down. Alright, cool. So, spire golem away. Come on, attack. Alright, Spire Golem, we'll, we'll try and exclude it. I expect this to get countered, but we'll try. He knows I have an exclude, so... I don't know that he would try and cast it without having Counterspell back up. Sure. Cancel. And now his Delver gets to get in for three, but that's okay. Ninja of the Deep. Okay, well, let's just play him out. Come on. There we go. Yeah, feel free to counterspell that. Sure. And pass the turn. Alright, so he's attacking. It's fine, I'll block Spire Golem on the Delver. And F6. Go down to 4. So I guess if he doesn't have anything here, I can just kill him. Uh, let's go to his Grace here. Quicksand, quicksand something, Spiral and gets in for two, and blocks Seagate Oracles on ninjas. Now nah, I'm just going to pass. I'm still winning the time race here, so. If not the decking race. I can always just play out the spell starters a chump blocker too. Yeah, he's going to time himself out. He's just taking far too long on his turns. He's either going to deck or just time out. Alright, so he chose to concede the game. 
Fair enough. Yeah, boo, Delver. Yeah, and it's even more boo because I'm actually in the mirror here. So bears are bad against him. Excludes are bad against him. Arrows are good. Snake forms are good. Um, piracy charms are not that good. We're going to take those out. And bring in the prize. And a stitched drake. And we'll call that a deck. He has uh, like two and a half minutes to kill me in two games. So it's not... I don't worry too much. He's going to lose on the clock alone. I, this is not the mirror. This is, uh, he's playing mono blue control, which doesn't have fairies. All right, this is a fine hand, especially for just delaying him to where I can time him out. Brainstorm main phase, so I can F6. <laughs> uh, well, that's something. No creatures. At all. F6. I'm not going to F6 now. I'm going to counterspell anything it tries to do. Well, during his turn. Countering a Delver. If he has a counter for the counter, that's fine. So let's uh, snap Mr. Delver back to his hand, delay him. Probably should have done that during his turn, but eh, it's fine. Undo. F6. Sure. Probe me, bro. Spelling the Delver. Even though we have the arrows in hand, I just want to make him use his counter spells. Brainstorm at the end of his turn. Uh, well, that's interesting. So I can't cast these arrows, but I can cast a Delver. And I'll do that. Pass the turn. Oh, wait. I'm not going to have six. Yeah, come at, with him. come at me with a Delver. Could have set up my Delver flip there, but eh, this is fine. Spell starter. Yeah, he's screwed. Counterspells my spell starter. Okay, sure. Stitch Drake. Removing my Delver from the yard. And pass the turn. Now we'll F6. Tapping two islands and gushing.
play an island. Play. Wait, cancel. Tap two islands. Cast this. So I'm tapping two islands. Cast this. Ah, uh, this is round two. All right. Yep.